What? Okay, you had your Merlin career, man. Had a, had 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 a great career there, man. Now you're talking about that draft process. What was that process like for you, man? Because like you said, man, you had to put that work in, and you got to a point where now you you in position now. You in position to make your dreams come true. So what was that process like? And then hearing your name called, like, what was that that whole process like, man? Uh, it was it was all surreal, man. Like. Straight up, it was it was a surreal experience. I was uh, this what I had been working for the my my whole career at Maryland, you know, and after my soft, I mean, middle of my sophomore year, I tear my ACL. I come back my junior year, don't really have a great season because I'm playing the one, and you know, I'm just not a hundred percent coming off of ACL that first year. So that second year, I kind of locked in. I mean, my senior year, I kind of locked in and was like you know, hey, I didn't come all the way to Maryland to not be able to have a shot, you know, for not to be able to, first of all, our first thing was to, to get back to the tournament. And we did that, we had a good season, we got back to the tournament. And then was to have a shot at the draft. And and one, one guy that pushed me every day was Grievous Vasquez, man. I tell you, we used to get in, in fist fights, playing one-on-one. His, his passion and his fire was so annoying to me, <laughs> but I loved it. I loved it because it pushed me. And I, without him, I would have never had a chance to make it to the league because he pushed me every day, every day, trying to beat me in one-on-one, tr- him beating me. And then I'm like, nah, we're we not leaving this gym until I, I get a win. So he pushed me every day. We pushed each other. And then that whole draft process, like I was going through the process and, you know, I was, I was doing my thing and went, worked out for 12, 15 teams and, you know, getting my name called was uh, another unbelievable experience. It was just, you know, uh, I I did it. I I was one of, one of 60 to, to get called that night. You know, don't matter where you, where you get called is if you get called or not. And um, I got called and then it was, that's when the real work started after that. Right, exactly, man. Like you said, man, it, it don't it don't matter what, what number you get called at, man, because you see a lot of examples like a Gilbert Arenas going the second round who yeah. didn't have a, the career he yeah. had, you know what I mean? And then even with you, man, like you played in the league for a number of years, you know, you had that experience. So what was that like? Now you go from the high school experience at, at modern day, then you go to Maryland. Mm-hmm. So you had, that, that was a transition. But now you got another transition to the league, something that you always wanted to get to. Now you there. So what was that process like, man? How was that experience? Thrown in the fire. Thrown <laughs> right in the fire. Man. You, you, you put me on a team like I ain't go to a young team. I went to a team that just went to the Western Conference Finals that if, if Amari doesn't step on the floor and get and get thrown out and, and Boris D, I think, get thrown out of that game seven, they might be San Antonio and go to the NBA Finals. Right. So I'm, I'm getting thrown in on that team right there. And then we added Shaq. So it's like, it, it's like, okay, now, now I'm at a, at a whole different level. Like now I'm with superstars right. and you got to carry yourself a certain way. You got to do things a certain way and prepare a certain way and just watching how they prepare every day and how everybody has their own little superstitions and, you know, everything's got to, something's got to be this way. And, you know, the way these guys compete, man, it was a, uh, it, it was it, it was crazy because it was just a whole different level, man. It was a whole different level of, of basketball. It was the basketball was the easy part. It was everything right. else, preparing and doing all this and the scouting and the tape and the, and the everything was just different. Man, that's that's crazy. I know I know you I know you played with uh you played against played against Kobe, you know, because I saw somebody post uh, some not so long ago. You played against Kobe. What was that experience like, man? The late great Kobe, rest in peace. Oh, what was what was that experience? What was that experience like, man? So, so I think it was like, or maybe it might have been Shaq's first game with us because we traded for Shaq halfway through the season. So it might have been his first or second game with us, and we played the Lakers on TNT, and it was a big time game. I'm thinking. I'm not getting in this game because I know Dan Tony, he's gonna put me, I know what he was gonna put me in, you know, he was gonna play against Minnesota and teams right. like that. If we play right, the Lakers, right. you're not getting in. <laughs> right, so right, right. I'm just chilling, watching, I'm watching the show. Kobe is killing. He, he's going crazy. <laughs> he hitting him with the left hand, dunking three. I'm like, oh, okay. 
<laughs> this is the real deal right here. This is Kobe. <laughs> yeah, so he he's out there killing it. I'm just on the bench. It's just the third come the third quarter. It's like middle of the third quarter. I'm just chilling on the bench. And like uh my boy Alondo Tucker, he's sitting next to me. And and I guess Dan Tony called my name. And I'm like, and he like, Dan Tony called you. I'm like, no, no, nah, man. He didn't call me. Stop playing. You about to have me run up there, take my stuff off and look crazy. Right. <laughs> so so he like, DJ, get in the game. I'm like, oh, okay. I snap off my pants, throw my joint. I get in the game. I'm like, oh, okay. He like, yeah, you got Kobe. I'm like, what? I'm like, you got like 30. <laughs> I'm like, he already cooking. There's nothing I can do. Oh, so the man. first possession, Kobe swing through on me, go right. I do my patent and take a charge on him. Like, ooh. And I, I'll get hyped. Like, I'm thinking it's college days. I get hyped. So I'm like, ah. I said, I said, oh yeah, look, it's right in front of our bench. So I look at our bench in front of Rajah Bell and all them. I said, yeah. Yeah, he's not that real. I said, he's not that real. And we walking down court. <laughs> he pat me on my butt. He said, I hope your daddy's watching. <laughs> and he proceeds to give me about 12 straight points. I was like, oh wow. Hey, bro. He gave me bucket after bucket after bucket. And I was like, oh man. I was like, yeah, that, that's my that's my welcome to the league moment right there. 